former Porter students, 2020 graduates. This is Mrs. Augusta Nelly, and I want to congratulate you on this huge accomplishment. I'm excited for you. I'm sure it's the first of many big accomplishments that you have ahead of you. Um, I wanted to share with you guys that it recently dawned on me that you were my first seventh grade class when I came to Missoula here, first time teaching middle school. And I sure was scared and I sure didn't know what I was doing. And I'm sure you probably noticed that. And um, I sure learned a lot from you guys. I, even though I stumbled quite a bit that first year, I remember that you guys were patient, you were forgiving, um, you're friendly and fun and funny and intelligent and you're driven. And um, you definitely were my teachers that year. And I really appreciate that. Um, what I learned from you guys is the importance of being prepared, um, the importance of staying curious, of picking yourself up when you fall down, um, of leaning on friends when you need some support and on having fun. And I really think these are traits that you all will carry with you as you go on for whatever comes next in your journey. And um, so I just am 100% confident that you are all gonna have an impact on this world. I'm excited for you. I want you to know that we're all rooting for you. Congratulations. Hey there, this is uh, Scott Chooks, CS Porter Creative Communications teacher. And uh, congratulations on getting to this uh, epic moment. I want to wish you well and wish you luck on this next stage of your journey. Um, do great things. Come back. Don't be a stranger. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you're doing. And uh, my advice to you is to treat each other, treat other people with kindness and respect. You never know what someone else is going through. So uh, treat everybody with kindness. Uh, do well. Be great things. And uh, take care. Be well. Mr. Edge here. Wow, it's really been four years. Man, time flies. Remember that. Congratulations, class of 2020. Best of luck on your future endeavors, and may the force be with you. Hey, class of 2020, best of luck with your future endeavors. I hope that you always follow your dreams, no matter how crazy they may seem. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you and all that you've accomplished. I hope you're able to celebrate uh, the, the work behind you and look forward at the uh, opportunities ahead of you with great excitement. And uh, we treasure your time at CS Porter Middle School and look forward to seeing you again as you grow and change and, and change the world. Take care. This is Hanson here. Remember me from CS Porter Middle School? grade seven where I taught life science and math. Well, thinking of life science, do you remember the hundreds of pears that I brought to school so you could have a healthy snack before your day started? Well, this is the tree that gave life to all those pears. And this year is no different. You can see the baby pears have formed and in September we'll be ready for harvest. The only thing that's different now is that I retired from teaching three years ago and I scrambled to find places to give away the majority of the approximately 2,000 pears uh, from just this one tree. Just as this tree has its seasons, sometimes it's dormant, sometimes it's growing, sometimes it is producing fruit, we also have our seasons. Not everything in life will be easy. There will be challenges that you will think you will never be able to get past, never give up. We've watched this tree over the years during some difficult times. There have been a few years where a hard frost came as the flowers were open, but not yet pollinated. The flowers dropped off and the tree didn't produce much fruit. But this tree bounces back year after year from dormancy with the goal to produce. You may have seasons of unexpected events and dormancy in your life, but bounce back. Don't let those times define you. I know you're strong and never ever let someone tell you that you can't do something. Today, you begin writing your next chapter. How it will read is up to you. Best of luck to you all and be sure to take care of each other. Goodbye. Hey, graduating class of 2020, congratulations, best of luck. Let 2020 remind you of your vision for your future. 
Your future's so bright, you gotta wear shades. Hello, class of 2020. This is Mrs. McFarland. To be honest, I had to go back and look to see who the heck you guys were. So I went through my Google Drive, my emails, pictures on my phone, and the first one that I found had everyone's face covered with our one book from 2015, 2016, which was The Uglies. So take a look, I found this picture of my crew, and even though names are, faces are covered, names did come back pretty quickly. So I thought I would take you on a trip down memory lane and talk about some of the other um, things we did in your eighth grade year at CS Porter. We read a lot of books in English, including classics like The Outsiders, Mystery Called The Westing Game, and our World War II novels like The Boy in Striped Pajamas or The Book Thief. Mr. Heide co-taught with uh, me that year, and Miss Enich was a student teacher who taught us some amazing poetry. Besides English, in social studies, we covered American history, and you researched, wrote, and performed your Civil War monologues. I hope that still brings you a feeling of accomplishment. Um, our headlines for that year, I had to look up again. Uh, it's been a while since 2015, 2016, but when we watched CNN student news, topics like these came up. ISIS was coming to power in the Middle East, the um, migrations in Eastern Europe, Trump's candidacy for president, the Black Lives Matter movement, removal of Confederate symbols in the South, same-sex marriage um, being ruled on by the Supreme Court, the Iran nuclear deal, Tom Brady and Deflategate with the New England Patriots, the Broncos won the Super Bowl, and LeBron James and the Cavaliers beat the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. So um, I hope you remember some other fun things about Porter, including our Porter Pals um, field trips with our, our little buddies from Hawthorne and Franklin. My twins are actually in kindergarten there this year and got to do their Valentine's Day and Halloween activities with the big kids at Porter. So they thought that was pretty darn cool. We took a ski trip over to Discovery and did our end of the year party at the Missoula Country Club pool. So. Those are all fond memories that I have with you. I just can't believe how far you guys have come. It always surprises me when a class is graduating and I think, oh my goodness, you were just in eighth grade. How are you ready to head out on your own? So whether you are hitting the college or career track, I wish you the best of luck and thank you for the memories. Hello, high school seniors and Porter alumni. I just wanted to wish you good luck in whatever the future brings you. I know your year didn't end the way we had all planned, but for sure it will be a memory forever. Good luck on all your future endeavors and be safe and take care. Hey there, high school graduating class of 2019-2020 with special emphasis for those former CS Porter Cougars. This is Mr. Solberg, your former assistant principal at CS Porter. Uh, lots changed probably in the four years uh, that you've been away from Porter. I'm now the principal and you are surviving a pandemic. Um, I know it's difficult having to graduate at this time. Uh, things are different. Sports are different. Uh, school was canceled. You've been in remote learning. But yes, you get to be sad because everybody gets to feel how they feel. But you also get to be proud. And I think you should be proud because you have made it through a pandemic. Uh, there was tons of uncertainty over these last few months and you're doing it. Uh, so hopefully when you look back 20, 30, 40 years from now, you can say, yep, I was in high school then and you made it. I'm proud of you guys. Good luck. Don't be strangers. I miss you all. And I can't wait to see you again. See ya. Hey class of 2020. It's Mr. Whiteman from CS Porter middle school. Either you were in my choir class or I was your track coach or boys basketball coach or girls basketball coach or Triumph Advisor or something. Um, I just want to say congratulations on this achievement of graduating high school. It is a big deal. I'm sorry that it has to be under these circumstances, but again, you guys have earned it. You as seventh graders were the foundation for the beginning of our choral program becoming what it is. You are the first group of kids to be in varsity portaliers as seventh graders. And we went to festival and earned a three that year and none of us were satisfied with it. And we came back and earned a superior the following year and we have earned only superior ratings in varsity portaliers and portamentos since then. Um, it's because of you guys and we get to travel to Portland and Seattle and Spokane and Kansas City because of the work you guys did, the foundation you laid. So again, as a teacher, I can't thank you enough. 
Um, and as a person, you really helped me grow as a, as a human and as a teacher. And I can't thank you enough for that as well. So I wish you guys the best over the next chapter of your life. And always feel free to come back and say hi and check in and see how you guys are doing. Um, again, I can't thank you enough for your time and all that you did at CS Portal when you were here. I look forward to hearing from you in the future. Hello, young people. Some of you remember me, Corey Wolferman, as either fun, hardcore intense, or a little bit of both. I hope that you know that all I ever wanted or expected from you was your best. As you travel onto the next length of your journey, I hope that's what you expect of yourself, your best. As I was coming home from trying to learn a new recreation in the mountains, I saw a sign that said, we didn't come this far, only to come this far. It made sense to me, and I hope it's something you embrace in your upcoming adventures. My brother lived by a quote by Henry David Thoreau that says, if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it's because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music he hears, however measured or far away. Find your own path, follow your own dreams, be your own best self. In the Bible, Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. My wish for this class of 2020 is that you have hope for your future and that it's filled with wonderful successes, fulfillment, and joy.